This is nice, isn't it? <laughs> Welcome to the E.E. E. BAFTA Film Awards 2024. <laughs> yeah. A great big bungie this is. You all look amazing in your tuxedos and your fancy dresses. It's like the opening scenes of Saltburn. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't end up like the closing scenes in Saltburn. <laughs> what an array of stars. It is no exaggeration to say this room has in it the greatest actors in the world. Yes, <laughs> yes. And with that in mind, if the camera cuts to you guys, it might help think of it like a script. So it's interior, festival hall, night, having the time of your life, and Emily Blunt action. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. I'd like just 10% more though. Robert Downey Jr. action. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Andy Serkis, show them how it's done. <laughs> now, you may be needing... You may be needing those acting skills, as judging these awards is like picking a favourite child. Difficult. Not impossible, but difficult. <laughs> so if you don't win, feel free to cry, but remember, your parents are watching and they never love you as much as your brother, who went off and got a proper job. And even I have no idea who's won, genuinely. It's one of those things I've only learned hosting tonight. There are only two people in the world who know who've won. I mean, let's hope one of them's the engraver. I always thought, like, the seat planner would know, and you, they'd put winners at the front or the end of an aisle. No, they've got hidden cameras. They can pick you up anywhere. So if you've got to scramble and climb over Kate Blanchett to get your hands on an award, that is what you do. <laughs> it's a metaphor for the acting industry generally. It's obviously been a tumultuous year for so many in the film industry with the writer strike and the actor strike. But I've been chatting to BAFTA and asking, is the future for screenwriters and actors looking rosy? And I can tell you, they say I. Although they, they do spell that AI, so I don't. <laughs> it's, just, it's a quirk. It is, of course, traditional at this point for the host to make these introductory remarks, but as we're all friends, I thought, let's give these extraordinary filmmakers what they want. So this monologue is over three and a half hours long. <laughs> but of course, when I say long, I mean epic. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's list of nominated films, it's amazing though, isn't it? Poor things. Poor things, ladies and gentlemen, yes. where a child's brain is put in an adult's body, and later this year, one of those may even be re-elected president. <laughs> Anatomy of a Fall was amazing. Yes. It has already scooped one prize, actually. Messi, the border collie in the film, won the Palm Dog Award at Cannes. <laughs> Bart Ruffalo's thinking, who's bummed you have to sniff to get one of those? <laughs> and what about the holdovers? <laughs> a film about a young man left behind at school over the Christmas holidays, hemmed in by snow and ice. Although where I grew up, we'd be out playing football in that. <laughs> I found the arts very quickly. <laughs> and Wonka was an absolute delight, wasn't it? A film all about chocolate. I think Wonka gave us all a boost. <laughs> and a Twix and a Crunchy and an Aero. Thank you very much. <laughs> you might need to explain that to some of our American friends. But it's, a, it's about the names of chocolate bars. Like Hershey's, but they taste nicer. <laughs> Oppenheimer was incredible. Telling the story of the construction of the world's most powerful bomb. That script, I know, went through a lot of rewrites. I believe in the first draft. Right at the last minute, Liam Neeson comes in and diffuses it. 
And Barbie was fantastic. Yes. I keep thinking about poor maligned Ken, so superbly brought to life by Ryan Gosling. It, yes. In the course of that film, Ken becomes a progressive, a champion of the marginalised, a voice for the oppressed. And if you squint at the end credits, you'll even see Ken's surname is actually Loach. <laughs> now, I've still got three hours and 27 minutes of monologue to go, but maybe let's, let's crack on with it, because even Bart Ruffalo's glazing over. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Yeah.